Let's take a look at the Thesis 2.1 Site submenu. While there are numerous things to do here, most of these are very practical and straightforward. From the top, Google Analytics presumes you have an account with Google, but for thesis purposes here, it's a cut and paste job. Likewise with Google Authorship, uh, this area is simply cutting and pasting a value. The same concept applies to site verification, though it does add uh, Bing Webmaster Tools in addition to Google's. Tracking scripts, these are certainly not mandatory, but if you do need to add a snippet of code to your site, this is the place. Next we have the favicon, which is a popular item. It's the extremely tiny logo sort of image that you have seen on many larger websites. With Thesis, now you can add your own with nothing more than an image and a few clicks. As a WordPress user, you already have an RSS feed, but if you want to use an alternative service like FeedBurner or FeedBlitz, you can override the default here. Blog page SEO, where SEO stands for Search Engine Optimization. This area controls the information for your default home page. If you only do one thing right now, fill out the title and the meta description fields. Uh, these can attract visitors from search engines like Google or Yahoo. Next up is your 404 page, which is what visitors see if they reach a page that does not exist. You've probably seen these page not found notices in your own travels online. If you like, you can assign an override. HTML head, which is what we'll end this with. These purple boxes represent bits of code that normally people just don't see or think about. The high level takeaway here is to merely recognize that this section exists. They do not require your immediate attention, but you might return to it just uh, meta robots or head scripts in the future. Thanks for watching.